I caused a little bit of a controversy among my subscribers yesterday because I put up a video where I was cle clearly using Brave, the browser, that is this thing right here. I want to explain why I've been using Brave for the past couple months, and I think it is not just a good browser, but it, it's unique in that it caters both, like it's something you could install on your grandmother's computer and she will have a better browsing experience, and it is also an extensible browser that has this sort of unique cryptocurrency aspect about it. You know, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but you can basically get paid to browse. I mean, it's all not that much, but you know, it's nice pocket change, we'll just say that. So I wanna talk about what makes Brave unique and why I've been using it. Um, and on, honestly, not even what it makes it unique, at least um, there is of course that aspect, but also it's just a generally good browser, frankly, uh, to, to be honest. So anyway, this is what it looks like when it pops up, right? So you'll see up here, this is the default screen. I haven't configured anything. I think I like remove the most frequently visited sites thing. I, I usually don't like web history. Um, but you'll see Brave is nice because it does what I consider the bare minimum of browsers. By default, it blocks ads and trackers. I don't know why you would use a browser without blocking ads and trackers. And this is coming from someone who makes money off of internet ads, okay? I don't think there's any moral superiority in, in looking at ads, okay? <laughs> so um, it, Brave does the bare minimum by blocking ads and stuff. And it also has a lot of other features. It upgrades to HTTPS by default. But even just blocking ads, that is a nice thing for your normie parents who don't know how to use ad block, okay? But I wanna talk about some of the settings of Brave and it has, you know, mostly what you'd expect from a browser with a couple cool things added, okay? It has, um, actually, I'll go ahead and, and talk about some of the cool stuff. Um, it has, for example, most browsers have incognito windows. Well, um, Brave has incognito with Tor. So you can just pop up, pop open a Tor window right here. Uh, it's probably not as secure as the actual Tor browser, but uh, I'm in, uh, you know, I don't do anything thing illegal using Tor. So, I, you know, every once in a while those, there's something that I need Tor to look at. It's nice having just the Tor window that I can pull up. So that's one just interesting feature that, uh, that Brave has. Anyway, I, I'm going to go through really quickly the settings menu just to show you it has everything you need. Okay. So appearance wise, I, I'm pretty sure Brave by default is actually dark instead of light. I don't know why people write applications to have to be light by default because it's just everyone hates it. It's terrible in the eyes, um, but it can use your own GTK theme and stuff like that. Uh, you can you know you can figure out the basic settings. Let me just show you the the important things. As I said, you can block trackers and ads. Um, that's default, and it upgrades to HTTPS by default. Also, you can just block scripts. So I know that a lot of people who use Chrome or Firefox. Uh, they install some kind of uh, add-on that lets them block scripts on sites if they don't want them. Well, Brave has that too. Um, so it's another little nice uh, privacy feature if you like it. And I should say, you know, the reason I didn't start using Brave for a while, I think for whatever reason, maybe it was, you know, proprietary software a couple of years ago when it was in development. But for whatever reason, I had the idea that it still was. Uh, but it's not. It's, you know, it's free software. It's, it's good stuff. Um, uh, anyway, so social media blocking, oh, another feature that is nice to have. Now, I know you guys are like, oh, blow, but you know, still, you're just going to add add-ons to do the same stuff. So blocking social media, you can turn those on by default. Search engines, um, I, oh, actually, let me say before I forget, um, Brave is based, it basically is the same engine as Chrome. It works like Chrome, it, except for, of course, it's obviously not sending every key you press to Google. Um, so... Uh, being Chrome, you know, based on the same engine as Chrome, it can actually take Google Chrome uh, uh, add-ons, extensions, whatever they call them. So I only have two. I just have a, a Vim binding uh, thing, and I have Stylish. Stylish is the thing that m lets you set custom CSS if you want, like, a dark Wikipedia or something. Instead of, like, the cringe light one, you can set that up on Stylish. Anyway, uh, but one other feature that... Uh, I think is a must-have in any browser. I know Firefox has it. I assume Chrome does, uh, but uh, Brave definitely does in case you need it, is the ability not just to create your own search engines, put your own search uh, engines in, but you can also set uh, prefixes for search engines. So for example, here I've set YT to be YouTube. 
So I can just open up a window, press YT, and then it'll, you know, I'll just look for myself on YouTube and that will automatically direct to YouTube, okay? So that's how those custom searches work. Uh, actually, I actually don't need that window. Um, so that's how the custom searches work. And again, Firefox has them. I think Chrome does, Brave of course does. So if you need that, you got it. So another thing your normie grandmother could actually use is um, Brave has a built-in system for uh, BitTorrent. Pro protocol, you can download torrents just in the Brave browser. Now you might say, Luke, my grandmother doesn't use torrents. Well, yes, that's because she hasn't been able to download them in her browser. That's why she doesn't use them. So whenever she comes across some, uh, you know, obviously virus thing that she's going to download, that's a torrent, she can't download it because she doesn't know how to use, you know, she doesn't have a torrent program or any of that stuff. But if you just need a down, it's it's very nice if you're not someone like me who has a custom torrent set up or whatever. It's nice just to be able to download torrents in your browser. So that's one other little feature it has. I, I know there are some of my subscribers who are just like bloat, bloat, bloat. But, you know, I mean, I, I think I said it before. People quote me as saying this. I don't know if I actually did. But, you know, the, the shame about the Internet nowadays is it's so bloated. Sometimes you just need a bloated browser. And uh, Brave does that without feeling bloated. I'll tell you that. So... Anyway, it has all the basic stuff you usually expect. Now let's talk about the cryptocurrency aspect of uh, Brave. So again, as I said, um, Brave blocks ads by default. And it's set up, actually let me click on the Brave Rewards things. You can enroll in what they call Brave Rewards where you can voluntarily consent to get little advertisements. And there are little white windows that pop up down here. Just um, You can set it up on uh, you know the Brave Rewards tab, you can go to ads and say, so I have it set at the maximum of five ads per hour, okay? Now, why would you wanna view ads? Well, you can view ads and they will pay you in their cryptocurrency, which is called uh, you know the BAT, Basic Attention Token. Um, right here, so uh, this feature is, is new. I'll tell you it works. I have gotten, I've withdrawn money in real, real fraudulent US Federal Reserve notes. Um, but uh, it, some of the system is a little wonky here. It says I have nothing. Like it's everything's a little delayed. I'll just tell you that. So don't worry if you're not getting the money you, you think you uh, you have. So for example, this money's a little delayed. That was from I don't know a while ago. Um, anyway, so how Brave Rewards works uh, is you can look at ads and you get their cryptocurrency. Um, now by default they have what they call auto contribute activated, and how that works is the browser keeps track of the sites that you've been looking at over the month and at the end of the month it sends out a donation it splits up the bat you've earned and sends them out all out to those people uh you know let's say you watch my youtube videos well i'll get a share of that bat or something like that now i've turned that off and the reason is i like manually choosing who i want to donate to uh i don't know what i don't want to like rage we read you know the new york times or something like that and accidentally donate something to them that would be really terrible um so i turn it off and i either keep my leftover money or, or donate manually to people so that's one thing you can do um so the question you might have is how much money do you actually earn on this thing? So right here, it says estimated pending rewards. It's like less than a dollar and it's been like nearly the whole month. That sounds like nothing. You do make more than that. As, as I said, it's a little delayed. I'll show you my my statements from a couple uh, months ago. So here, um, uh, so here is, uh, that's my October earnings. I got 25 bat. That's around, you know, five, six, seven dollars, something like that. That's decent, a, a decent amount of change, I guess. Um, and that's per month. So, and I will say, I actually browse a lot less than many other people. I know people might think that because I'm using it, I have a technology uh, YouTube channel. I'm using the computer all the time. I actually don't. Um, but so I got around five bucks. I get pretty much five bucks a month just from browsing. Um, so here's November and here's December. So that's pretty typical for me. Uh, it might be different for you. I've seen people who get insane amounts of money and I've seen people, you know, people who will get like, 50 bucks, like I don't even know how they did it. Um, but I also see people who a month who will get less because maybe they're in a country that, you know, gets fewer ads, like people aren't marketing there, so there aren't as many ads. Um, and I'll also say Brave does have a mobile application. I do have it on my phone as well. And I feel like I'm cheating them because every morning, I don't really use my phone that much. So every morning I'll wake up and I'll check my phone and I'll have like 30,000 Brave ads. And I'm like, oh, I got, I got some marginal amount of money for these, even though I didn't really pay attention. Wow, that's nice. Uh, so anyway, I will also show you, I know YouTube e-celebs are usually very cautious about showing you anything money related, but I will show you the creator side 
of uh, Brave. So if you make YouTube videos or if you have a website, what you can do is you can sign your website up for Brave Rewards, and that is how people can donate. Uh, like basically, you just verify that you own these, uh, own a website or something like that, and uh, people can go to your YouTube. Uh, let's say I'll go to my website actually. Okay, if I go to my website, this this little thing up here, this is how you donate. You can just click on that, send a tip, something like that, um, and that'll basically. I mean, that's how you donate to people. Okay. Um, anyway, so if you make, if you have any kind of web content, you can sign up for this, and you can see that people like basically donate. A uh, little bit of money for each of this stuff. This, is, of course, is, is in bat. Um, so here is here's my statement from last month. It's what like four hundred something. So in terms of real money, you know, real money, uh, what that'd be like fifty, sixty something dollars. So I, I don't know. Anyway, so it, it's some amount of money. That's it's not bad. You know, it's nothing to ignore if you make YouTube videos or something like that. Oh, you know what? Oh, dang. Okay, here's my affiliate link graph. If I were a good shill. I would have given you my my affiliate link at the beginning of this video, but I forgot about that. But I do have an affiliate. If you click on it and use Brave, I get some amount of money if you use it within 30 days or something like that, or if you, if you continue using it. Dang, I should have said that at the beginning. I yeah, I need to up my shill game. Okay, I've done two videos on cryptocurrency in a row, and I'm I'm clearly new at this stuff because I you know anyway. So. Uh, you can do that if you like, but either way, definitely check out Brave. Even if you, if you, even if you're totally uninterested in the pocket change you'll get or be able to donate through the Brave Rewards, it's actually just a better browser. I mean, it it has the functionality of Google Chrome. It has a couple other features that should be default on every browser, uh, like you know, upgrading to HTTPS, uh, blocking ads and trackers. Uh, the web torrent thing is nice. It has all these features that make it very usable. It's not like you have to learn how to use it. You could just, as I said, you could just install it on your grandma's computer and she's going to be fine using it. Um, so if you don't want to use any of the cryptocurrency aspect of it, you don't have to. You can just omit that. That's totally fine. But if you want a like, nice little bonus, you know, five bucks a month, you know, that's a nice little Christmas bonus. Spend, buy, your some, buy yourself something else for Christmas. I don't know. Or donate them. Um, either way, it's just nice to have. Uh, so anyway, that's why I've been using Brave. And it's not because of any huge superiority of it. I think most browsers are pretty close, but Brave, I, I think, edge o edges over the competition, not just in the cryptocurrency part, but it just sort of has everything. And it's, it looks good. It looks good every time you bring it up. It just has a nice, a, a pretty landscape photo. Or Well, that's not a landscape. Okay, I lied. But most of the times they're landscapes. So anyway, that's it. And I will see you guys next time.